Katangin ng coronavirus to. I don't know what's worse in causing more damage, the virus itself or humans responsible for the panic and chaos. Lahat tayo damay, sobrang hassle. Anyway, sarap pagbator. At buti na lang tong biyahin to happened way before the outbreak. Sinabi ko na to noon sa ibang video na hirap ako bumalik-balik dito sa bansa na ito. Isang bansa kung saan ko natagpuan ang dati kong apoy sa pag-ibig at nakaranas ng mainit na pagmamahal. Sadly though, sa sobrang init, ako'y napasok. Ito po ang aking ex, si Nong Nat, isang award-winning drama actress from Thailand. Iniwan niya ako para sa isang yamaning matanda. Mahapdi ito para sa akin at yan ang dala ko sa bawat balik ko sa Thailand habang kinukot-kot ng mga alaala ang peklat ng dating pag-ibig. Matamis na karanasan na nauwi sa mapait na bigo. Pero, pro tayo. Trabaho ay trabaho. Motor ay motor. At nandito tayo ngayon para sa bagong motor ng Yamaha Motor Philippines. Ang kaabang-abang na Yamaha XSR 155. Noong huling Nobyembre, ako po'y dumayo sa Bangkok para makihalubilo sa pangatlong Bangkok Hot Rod Festival kung saan nagtitipo-tipo ang mga magagaling na custom builders para ipagyabang ang mga obra nilang mga motor. Ako po'y naimbita doon para maging judge. Sa atin naman, meron tayong Moto Builds Pilipinas taon-taon. At kung kilala ninyo ako, may nakareservang pwesto sa puso ko ang pagko-custom build ng motor. In fact, meron tayong ngayong makina dahil sa Moto Builds Pilipinas because it is true makina na naisusustain natin ang Motobuilds Pilipinas taon-taon. The bikes have arrived ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Fountain! And look at this. It looks big. I thought it was smaller. Not too small. Not too small. I don't know, maybe because it's still high up in the truck. We'll see when it gets down. That is a beautiful bike. Sabi na nga ba, ang ganda eh. This is a nice color. But this is like the classic, you know, yes. this is the color that the XSR was known for when it came out in that color. So I'll be using the gray one, right? Yes. Very, very nice. What do you call it? Premium. 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 Egg 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 spot. All right, I'm excited. Shall we ride? We shall ride, buddy. Thank you so much. Just to clarify certain rules, no wheelies, yes, no, no stunts, no crazy shit going on in Thailand, okay? Yes. Got it. We shall follow. The rule. Thank you. Ta da da da. Thank you. So we got a full tank of gas and we're ready to roll. Since nasa Thailand na ako, naisipan kong tumawag sa Yamaha Motor Philippines para humingi ng tulong para makasakay ako ng isang Yamaha XSR 155. Andun na ako eh. And during that time, di tayo sigurado kung dadali nila itong motor na to sa Pilipinas. So dude, you're from Malaysia. Yes. And you don't have that in Malaysia too. We should start a petition for Yamaha to bring it in the Philippines and Malaysia and everywhere else, right? Nangarap lang naman ako na makasakay ako nito kahit saglit lang. Eh yun, napakabait ng Yamaha Motor Philippines at hinukap nila ako sa Yamaha Thailand. So again, in Thailand, it is right-hand drive. We stay on the left side of the road. Okay, just making sure. Start this up. 28 kilometers. This is a new bike. We're off, baby. Lead the way, buddy. Oh, game wheelie na agad! <laughs> Hello, Thailand! Swati camp! Swati camp! Camp Kung camp! We're gonna go around the spots of Thailand that's still near the city. You don't want to go too far out there. And what I'm trying to do, I'm not really here to sightsee. I'm trying to observe and absorb the bike see what's up with this. I'm getting the hang of Thailand riding in the left side of the road again. So I'm getting used to it again. No problem. Looks nice. Ganda. That one? Is that the scooter you were talking about? The hybrid? What do you call it? GT? No, no, no. It's a Grand Plano hybrid. Ah, okay. That's the hybrid over there. So iba-iba pa nga pangalan nila sa mga scooter dito sa Thailand. In fact, There's no more Mio in Thailand. You don't call it Mio anymore. Okay, there you go. So they call it different things. 155 cc engine. It's liquid cooled, single cylinder, single overhead cam, fuel injected, disc brake harap at likod, 17 inches ang gulong with 19 horsepower and 14.7 nm of torque. Mono shock tayo sa rear, and it's pretty much the same old in a standard bike of this displacement. We had a little coffee break here with Bonas of Thailand. Nice ride, my buddy. Bento Cafe, 
Okay, right there. First, what I noticed, this layout looks very, very familiar. Yes. Same layout with the TFX and MLAS. Yes. Because I remember this going uh, down when I featured the TFX before hmm. I remember that. What else is the same with the TFX? I think the shock up is the same. Switches. Switch. Key. Key. Same also. Frame the same with M flat. And yeah. TFX and MT15, no? Yes, MT15. Same frame. R15. R15 and M slash or TFX. I'll call it TFX, easier to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> engine wise, is the same engine as the R15. R15 and MT15. How about the gas tank? Is this the same as the XSR900? We're in, this is just a cover? It's a cover. They have an extra tank inside. How many colors do you have for this? Thailand, we have four colors the red and white one and the gray one which I've been riding yeah yes, and the matte black and matte green and this one is the 80 sport heritage the gray is called premium premium classic and black is called just black. black black is just black and the green is just green right yes. you know what this is my favorite shiny it's red and white and black it's got a lot of pop coming out to it and it looks very very sporty so that's why I like it so much and it also has a gold this is the only one with the gold yes. Yamaha Philippines if there is something that I would buy and get it would be this one let's just turn this thing on and the same key with the M flat take a look at the gauge so what I noticed with the gauge, there are two buttons here, mm -hmm. one here and one here. So this one is basically turning all your trip to, your time, your clock, kilometers a liter, your average consumption, going this way. If I press it here, I'm going the other way. So I guess if you want to reset, this is the reset button. Press that long. Yeah. Reset button. For the lights, this is LED. Sharp looking XSR headlight over there. This is all the LED. You see that little yellow thing over there? This is regular. This is clearly XSR-ish. Very nice as well. And this is regular. There, there you go. Tire-wise, is this thicker than the m -Lash? Same. Feels thicker to me. Bigger. It's bigger, right? Yes. 140. Then the TFX. 130. 130. So he got bigger tires with the XSR. Nice and beefy tires. Now, if I may look into the nitty gritty as with the TFX, this plastic here is very, very good quality. The black plastic, I would say, is average. Same with this one, it's on the average side. The grips, I like. Very good, no need to change. Bar ends, primo, really nice. And if there's anything here that I would probably change or modify, would be this. This is usually the most simple part of uh, the XSR. If you look at it, it looks classy and biloggish with everything else. But if there's anything again I would change, it would be this. I'd probably get something thicker with uh, more quality involved. Seat, pasada naman siya. But I would prefer the seat of the gray one. Let's just run to the gray one really quick. Yeah, mas type po yung seat nito. But it's the same quality, yung bridges yung ganyan. It's just made to look like leather, but this is really vinyl with some stitching. Ah, so here's another difference. Same material, but this one has Yamaha put in there. Let's check out what's uh, going on with the black one. The black one has nada. Oh, no Yamaha. Why is there no Yamaha there? You're making all of us think. Same basic dimensions, all of that. Color shading, but ito may tatak ng Yamaha. I don't know if that's a deal breaker for you or not. So, impeccable, pretty good frame. This is for me one of the most important things in the bike. Everything is nice and rigid. The suspension is also solid. Weight transfer from front to rear. It's not there. It's a sporty classic bike. You can really hit corners here without any fear of insane wobbling. And surprisingly, despite the thicker tires and the overall heft look of this bike, I didn't feel that it was hampering or compromising the acceleration in any way. I don't know, maybe uh, the only way I'll find out is to put smaller tires, which will probably improve it, yeah. But baga, hindi naman siya parang, ah, bagal. It's, it doesn't have that feeling at all. Cool cues, unmistakable XSR right here. These things over here, super nice. Nice cues over there. Beautiful. Take a listen at the exhaust. and medicine in a 155cc sort of way. The only reason why I'm digging the red and white is because I've seen this set up with the bigger XSR 900. Saka tignan mo naman to galing dito. Oh, gibos. Oh, see? Look at that angle here. Oh, laki tignan, oh. What is notable though are the upside down telescopic forks and six speed gearbox. Yamaha is upping the game in this segment by incorporating this gearing. Sa dami ba naman request at hirap ng mga riders na shuck sana six gears na kaya para makin eh. Ayan, tinutuon na nila. It'll just be a matter of time before all bikes in this segment will be six gears. Another plus is the Delta box frame, which is found in the Yamaha R15. Yes, same 
base and frame and this folks means really good frame integrity and rigidity. Solid talaga yung bike. Hindi basta-basta nagtitwist yung chassis. Huwag din natin isipin na same bike lang sila tapos sinalpakan ng ibang kaha. The tuning is really different. Yung R15, pang dulo. Yung XSR 155's plays from low to mid-action. Now, why is the XSR 155 so appealing for me? Well, it is the ride from the Yamaha XSR 900 and 700. Two neoclassic bikes with design lines that jive to my sensibilities. I really love how these bikes look. At mas nakakatawa na nagmini bike version sila and made the XSR 155. Common na yung sport bike eh. Diba? Kung may R1, may R15. Maliit na XSR, sobrang naaliw ako. Okay. Okay, now we're ready. I'm gonna be your bitch, buddy. Another reason why sobrang nagustuhan ko yung motor ay pareho sa rason kung bat ako napadpad sa Thailand to begin with. Okay, we're just gonna make sure that there's distance between my penis and your butt. Okay, we're good. Traffic light, we're gonna do our etiquette check. Okay, still safe distance. The etiquette et 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 check. I mean, I'm confident with my sexuality. Maski naman dumikit ang yan. Ang lakos pa ka siya, diba? Baka, mag, baka ma bad trip siya na dumidikit yung etiquette ko sa kanya. So we're being polite here. Remember, this is a. Uh, we're guests in, in their country. Custom culture, customization. It's fun to shape and manipulate the spike under the skillful hands of a good builder. And na yung line, kukurbahan mo na lang. And as an extra treat, Yamaha Thailand brought me to a huge Yamaha XSR custom show. Ay grabe, galing na mga Thai. Hello. Kinagawa <laughs> dito. Actually, we're planning to go for the custom. Okay. And Bangkok Hot Rod. Because it's actually two different. Uh, two different events. Uh -huh. Bangkok is uh, the one that's really bigger. Right. Right, right, uh, right. I'll see you. Okay. I okay. just had to go back. Okay, okay. Take care, take care. The people you see in Thailand. Pansan tabi mo na natin yung pagka-classic niya at yung pagkapasok niya sa costo. Kasi oo, bias na ako sa ganun eh, ba? Paano naman siya kung sa pang-araw-araw na gamitan para sa mga tao na wala namang pakialam sa pagkukosom at pagbumot? Yung mga masena sila sa itsura niya, okay na sa stock. Between this and the R15, obviously in terms of comfort, sa XSR tayo. Even between this and the MT15, I'd still nod off to the XSR 155. Comfy seat, ergonomics, seating position, tsura din. Remember, mahirap maluma ang mukhang luma na. Unlike modern sports, parang may at maya may bago eh. At nakakaluma sa paningin paglipas ng sandaling panahon. Ang handling niya mainam pang syudad. Don't let the classic looks fool you. This bike can turn as quick as the MT-15 no problem. Small, nimble, and very agile. Quality of the XSR 155 mirrors its big brother's offerings. Pulido, pwede mo i-as is or pwede mo i-costo. Siyempre kung ako, magkakaroon ako nito, costo magad. Huwag matakot. Express yourself. Kung gusto mong stop, pwede din naman. Kaso XSR yan eh. Diba? Pasok na sa kultura. At dahil walang perfectong motor, some improvements on the basics in a bike of this level, if I may, is sana yung version natin magka-ABS option. For those who want, yun lang, dagdag na naman sa presyo. Sa Thailand, may ABS sila. 
Some people were also looking for Yamaha generated custom kits, diba? Pero for me naman, counterintuitive siya sa buong kultura na pinapasok ng XSR. Custom nga eh, diba? One off. So for me, okay lang the Yamaha kits are limited. Make your own, ika nga. Pag mga ganyang motor at napalimot niya si Nong Nat sa utak ko at hindi ako nagmumukmukbong trip, aba eh, Okay siya. Maraming salamat Yamaha Motor Philippines at Yamaha Motor Thailand sa pagkakato na masubok ang isang motor na matagal ko nang inaasam kahit noong mga panahon na yon hindi pa tayo sigurado kung ipapasok siya sa Pilipinas. Pero yun nga, ipapasok na siya sa halagang 162,000 pesos. Sa mayaman, manito. Sa mga pasimula pa lang sa buhay at nagsusumikap na minimum wage, medyo mahal to. Ganun talaga ang buhay. Gaya nga ng sabi ni Rico Blanco, kung ayaw, may dahilan. Kung gusto, laging meron paraan. Nasa sa'yo na yun. Ito po si Sir Sack na nagsasabing, laging tandaan, kasalanan ang pagnanasa o panginginggit sa mga bagay na hindi sa'yo. Kaya, bilhin mo na lang para di ka magkasala. Ciao! Kang damdamin